What's up, fella? So today we're here to talk about why you'll never be able to get rid of all validation. All right. I had a patron supporter that wanted to know, hey, ain't seduction validation? And yes, it is, guys. It is validation. But guys, you're going to have two type of two type of um, validation. You got your alpha male validation and you got your beta male validation. You got your sexual uh, validation and you got your non-sexual attention validation. All right. And so what the validation I teach you guys to give women is the alpha male validation. This is when you're trying to progress things to sex. All right. The beta male validation is when you do shit to kiss women ass so they'll give you some attention, all right? So they'll like you, all right? So you don't want to take that route. Women don't even respect that route, all right? But as a man, we have to escalate things to sex. I've never had a woman that tried to escalate things to sex, all right? She'll put herself in position to get dick down, but you have to get it there. She ain't going to do it, all right? If you ask her to come back to your crib, if she want to get dick down, she'll come, all right? When you get to the... the to the crib, if she want to get down, you start making your moves, she'll let it go. All right, guys? So the woman will put herself in position to get fucked, but you have to do the fucking progressions. All right? And so, no, you would never be able to get rid of all validation because how else can you get things to sex? And sex in itself is a validation. Now, but here's the kicker. Women with high self-esteem, don't even value your fucking sexual validation. It don't mean shit to them. Every guy they done met since the age of five been trying to fuck them. So it don't mean shit to them. They already know every man wants to fuck them. So they don't. that don't mean nothing to them, all right? What the, the, the sexual validation means more to the low self-esteem women than the, the high self-esteem women is because they don't feel that attractive to begin with. And guys, you usually can tell these low self-esteem women, they usually have makeup on caked up. When you ever see a woman with her makeup caked all over her fucking face, I'm not talking about wearing makeup. I'm talking about when you see a motherfucker with it caked up, like layer thick like a fucking cake, that's, you, that's usually going to be a woman with low self-esteem. When you see women, a woman who, you know, usually always, all the time, dresses half fucking naked, I'm not talking about just going to the club. I'm talking about this motherfucker half naked to go to McDonald's. That's going to be a woman with low self-esteem, guys. All right, these women, too, they tend to be very, like, touchy-feely. And it's not so much high interest. It's just that they constantly need to know that you still like them. All right, and you'll see this with men with low self-esteem, too, and men with no confidence. They real touchy-feely. That's why I tell you guys, don't be real touchy-feely on these dates. It's almost like you seeking her validation because that's what she's doing. All right, a woman who's doing like overly touchy feel. I'm not talking about if she touch you. All right, I don't want no guy to my son. So if she touch me, she's 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 got low self esteem. No, that's not what the fuck I said. I'm talking about overly. Like every time you move away, she got to grab your hand or she all up in you all the fucking time. That's going to be a woman with low self esteem because she constantly need to know that you still like her sexually. All right, guys. So. Don't worry about, you know, that type of validation. Just stay away from the beta male validation. The compliments. The talking on the phone. Being her male girl girlfriend and all that shit. Male gay girlfriend and shit like that. All right? So just avoid that type of validation. There's no way in the world that you can possibly get rid of all validation. All right? I don't know no woman that's just going to come in the house and bust it open on the fucking couch. It don't happen like that. So you're going to have to validate her a little bit. And... The act itself of going up approaching a woman, even if she sent you choosing signals, is validation in itself. It's saying, I find you sexually attractive to come up and make the approach. Even if she sent you choosing signals first, all right? So it, it's no way to get around all validation, guys. So don't even worry about that. Just stay away from the beta male bullshit, all right? And on a serious topic, all right, because I've been having a lot of guys ask me, what's my take on the, the Gillette ad? And there's a reason why I haven't made a video on this. I'm tired of running to fucking social media every time men feel slighted. All right, guys? So, guys, every time men get fucked over, men want to run, they ask me, hey, make a video on this. What the fuck that going to do? 
when men gonna start doing some shit besides running their ass on YouTube, make a video? Every time I see a man get raped in our divorce court, oh, let's go make a video. All right. Every time I see a man hit a woman back in self-defense, I'm not talking about uh, domestic uh, violence. I'm talking about where a man, a woman hit a man first and he, you know, just to get off of him, he hit her back to get up to defend himself. Oh, time to run on YouTube, make another video. All right. When men going to do what these other groups did to get shit turned in their way. All right. So if, if Gillette was a female product, and they made a, a, a ad against feminism, women would boycott the shit out of that. Boycott, women would not fuck with Gillette. But I guarantee you right now, Gillette bottom line is not hurting because all men gonna do is run their ass to social media and make some fucking videos. See, guys, if you want change, you have to affect the bottom line, all right? You just can't run your ass to YouTube and make a fucking video. You have to, Get laws changed, all right? If you, you affect the LBGT community right now, the LGBT community, man, they'll ruin your fucking career now because they affect the bottom line, and that's what matters to these people, all right? So if you guys want some change, if y'all want some of these marriage laws changed, some of these uh, child support uh Every time somebody get paid, I gotta pay a high child support. Guys run their ass to YouTube. Oh, they want to pay thirty thousand dollars a month. Hey, man, make a video. I'm not making no fucking video on that bullshit. Every time some guy gets slighted in court, everybody want a fucking video. I'm not finna make a video every time men get slighted. When you gonna do some action? All right, when you gonna start affecting the bottom line? Why isn't men boycotting Gillette? All right, why isn't Gillette sitting on the fucking shelf getting fucking uh, dust and, and, and cobwebs on it? All right, why? I guarantee you there was Messingale, and Messingale made a video about feminism. Oh, Messingale will be out of business faster than a motherfucker. Or some uh, a tampon product, and they made a, a video against, uh, a commercial against uh, feminism and, and, and the spread of feminism. They has to be out of business because women would boycott that shit. All right, you can't even slight women on ESPN or no shit like that without a fucking reporter or something being fired because women going to affect the bottom fucking line. All right, guys, that's how you get changed. All right, not making fucking YouTube videos. I was watching Selma last night about Martin Luther King Jr. And just seeing them, the shit that they had to go through to get change and shit, they didn't run their ass on YouTube. Now, I know they ain't have YouTube, but they ain't running crown the radio. They laid their ass down in the middle of the street. They laid their ass on bridges. They did boycotts. They did sit-ins. They did shit to get actual fucking change. All right, guys. So when the next time the next guy get ruined in marriage court or ruined in child support, please don't run your ass over here and ask me to make a video. All right. Anything. Let's get some change going. All right. Let's just start affecting these people. Bottom line. That's how shit change. Not YouTube videos. All right, so I don't want to see, see that shit no more because I'm, I'm not going to make no more videos about some guy getting screwed in divorce court or child support or the next time a commercial come on and they slight me in and everybody want me to make a video about it. Man, we've been getting fucked over. All right, this shit been going on. All right, you, can offend, you can't offend no other group but men. I guarantee you there was a product against the LGBT community. Oh, hell a break loose. Because they gonna goddamn boycott, do all type of fucking shit, pull advertisers, all type of shit. Only thing men gonna do is run to YouTube and create a video. That ain't doing shit, guys. All right. But getting back to the first point, guys, there's no way in hell you can uh, get rid of all validation. All right. The act in itself of procreating with women is going to get them some validation. Only thing I want you guys to do is don't get them the fucking beta male validation. All right. And like I said, guys, like I said, the hot women, the women you guys are going to. Uh, well, I take that back. Whether a woman is hot or not has nothing to do with a woman's self-esteem. It could be a fucking girl that's a six that thinks she battered in a motherfucker. Y'all guys see them on day naps all the time. Think they better than a motherfucker. And y'all guys will see hot chicks, hot chicks, literally hot chicks, 
that got like the lowest and stinkiest self-esteem in the fucking world. So I don't even want to say whether a woman hot or not got anything to do with her self-esteem because it's hot women with low self-esteem and it's women that should be lucky to get a fucking date. You see them on day naps all the time. It should be. It's women that should be just happy to get a fucking date that's on day naps acting like they running shit. All right, guys, so I don't really want to say if it's hot or not got anything to do with their self-esteem, but the women with high self-esteem and feel that they don't even, your sexual validation really doesn't mean nothing to them. All right, their confidence is on swagger. That means more something to the low self-esteem women, guys, and they tend to be needy and shit like that. All right, guys, but no, I haven't figured out a way to not validate women 100% completely unless you just don't like fucking. That's it. If you stop liking fucking, then you can completely get rid of uh, validation. But even then, you got to go up and approach the motherfucker, and that in itself is a validation. So the only way you can avoid totally validating women is she came up and approached you, she called you all the time, and she, uh, and she initiated sex. All right, it's going to be hard to get a woman to do that because women fear rejection like a motherfucker. All right, guys, so it's going to be hard to get a woman to do all that because women fear, uh, fear rejection with feminine women, um, high interest women, uh, feminine women. You do have some masculine women out here that's just naturally masculine. High energy, low energy, they just, it's some women out here that it don't really matter if they got high interest in you or not. They just masculine. All right, we all know that. And some of those big, heavy set women, yeah, they are aggressive like that because they have no other choice. Nobody approaches them. So if one nobody dicking your ass down, your ass will be aggressive too. All right? So yeah, the women who never get no approaches and shit like that, yeah, they be aggressive like that. They have to. Nobody approach they big ass. All right, guys? But the average woman who with some self-respect and shit like that, they ain't going to do all that. You have to do that. All right, guys. Hope I cleared that up. Like the video, comment down below what you guys want to see next. Holler back.